The women who accused Brett Kavanaugh of assaulting them at parties were just teenagers at the time. Kavanaugh was a teenager, too. Last year, the Department of Education investigated 150 claims of sexual violence at elementary and high schools, a jump of more than 500% from just three years before. Changing that may require changing students' attitudes. In Illinois, teachers with a publicly funded nonprofit are going class to class. We're at a high school in South Chicago where they've started a program called What's Up With Manhood, where they're essentially trying to open up a discussion about sexual consent and trying to teach consent from as young an age as possible. Luciano Melin and Cordero Lewis are community educators working with mostly 14 and 15-year-old boys. How do you all define consent? I feel like it's not that simple. I feel like girls like to work their way like, around what they want you to know. And like what guys is straight up. What is so hard with waiting to hear, yes, we can, or no, we can't? It's not, it's not hard. It's just that like in a moment, it'll be awkward to interrupt and like say something like that. So if they going along with it, then you know it's a yes. But if they like um, stopping you, then you know it's a no, then you stop. Hmm. So silence is a yes. No, no, no. Silence, not in all cases. Silence, not, silence could work. Okay, not in all ways. cases. Is it confusing where that line of consent falls? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yes. it is. Yeah, it can be. Why, why is it so confusing? You're not always sure about what they're going to say until they actually say it. If she says yes and you can see that in her eyes, like you can notice that. Like if you know her, you can see that. What does it look like, like in her eyes when it's yes. a yes? Yes, please show us. I want to yeah. see what that looks like. like show me what, like, what yes just, bedroom yeah. eyes look like. <laughs> you get that vibe, like you know, she's, you know what she's trying to say, but she still tells you something else. You know, she's trying to say yes, but you can see like her body language, like we're all talking about. Like she, she's saying no, basically. And sometimes the guy just wants to take advantage of that. Oh, she said yeah, so it's a yeah. What I kind of want to get into is, is the concern of not knowing and still going that way. Because, let's be honest, you're putting yourself in a very dangerous legal situation. Are you worried about, at one point, getting, having someone accuse you of not asking for their consent or no, not being clear not about that? All. I wouldn't say that I'm not worried because, like, I can name a handful of times where uh, the girl wanted to do it or whatever, but as soon as they break up, she gets mad, so she says that uh, he raped her. Of course, like, I feel worried in the future because, like, you will never know, like, what, what, she, yeah, what, what she's going to say Yeah, about like, you. what she's going to do. How much of gender norms and this machoism plays a part in, in terms of the challenge that you guys are up against? Guys don't talk. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a whole machismo thing right there. I'm not going to tell you what I feel. Yeah, I'm crying. So what? I'm crying. You know, it's, and, and it's breaking that down to actually get to the root of an issue, get to the root of a problem. And not only that, they, they don't want to be seen as weak. And that, that's also a thing, and, and, you know, being um, like a, a very hyper-masculine thing, you know, to not show weakness, even if it is to my detriment. How often does that gray area of consent come up for these kids? I would say all the time. Uh, and it's not just as far as sexually. You know, I, I think the gray area is in all aspects of their lives as far as dealing with each other, you know? Uh, the guys feel as though the girls want a certain thing, but they're not communicating it. The girls feel as though the guys want a certain thing and they don't want to necessarily communicate that that's not what they're about. Or, the program that Madeline and Lewis run centers on a discussion about manhood. They don't typically reach out to young women, but we wanted to learn what girls at this age have experienced. Almost immediately, the gender gap in attitudes became very clear. How many of your peers felt that they were pressured? Majority. Majority? Yeah. Majority? Wow. Okay. Maybe they were scared that their boyfriend or girlfriend would leave them and maybe they didn't sleep with them. Maybe that's what it was. The word consent can mean obviously many different things to each person, but like, in my opinion, it's like when you're okay with the encounter before, during, and after, if that makes sense. Ladies, what do y'all think about that? Yeah, we agree. And it's also that like during, at any point that if you say no, they're not just gonna be like, well, you already gave consent. It's at the point where they're like, okay, I understand that now you don't want to. Do you feel like there's pressure from guys to have sex? Or do you feel like, um, do you feel like guys come under pressure to have sex? I well? feel like 
guys pressure other guys to have sex. Like, if one of them is having sex, they're like, oh, why aren't you doing it? Or you're lame for not doing it yet, you know? For When it comes to girls, I feel like it's different, you know? Like, if they haven't done it, then we don't really care. Boys think that certain things girls do is giving consent, such as they see any little chance of it being consent, they'll be like, okay, they're going to go for it. They just care about getting what they want. They would probably say something like, oh, I thought you loved me, or, oh, don't you trust me, or stuff like to like, kind of manipulate you and like, well, I mean, get you to overthink it to to extent where you feel pressured to say yes and you feel pressured to do it because they you love them so much and you care so much for them. Have you been in a situation like that? Yeah. Yeah, I've been in a situation before. How did you resolve that? I really cared about that guy, but um, it got to the point where, like, he would, like, he told me, like, oh, like, if you love me, then you would do this. And then since I was scared of letting go, and I've gotten so attached, I, um, I, like, I, I would tell him, like, oh, no, I don't want to. But then he, he even, like, kind of said it in a way, like, if I didn't, then he would just walk out. I was scared for him to do that. Yeah. And so what happened? Well, I got peer pressured into it, and that became my first time and my last. It taunted me, it taunts me. I didn't say no, but I also didn't say yes. I didn't give him an answer, he just automatically assumed. 